yeah, I'm going to be giving a, a bit of a demo here today. I want to make this as tangible for everyone to hop on board um, as possible. Um, so many of you have already joined. Um, it's very exciting to see this sort of membership growing within the community live over the past three days. Um, and before I jump in, I just want to sort of provide a bit of high level sort of context and grounding. Um, Sustain Chain is free. It is a purpose built platform. Um, and the role that we are ultimately looking to play um, is to act as a collaboration accelerator. So when we were introduced, uh, very, you know, thankfully to Joy and Scott, um, actually by an attendee that's at this conference, um, you know, it couldn't have been a better use case, right? Our, our role really is right um, communities of sustainability leaders and warriors to collaborate right to come together and actually uh, engage around specific initiatives right to connect beyond the uh, you know uh, energy of a conference right uh, to sort of reconnect afterwards and really find ways that they can engage and operationalize all of the incredible um, ideas right that came out of events like this so um, you know, just want to reinforce, right, that we have no horse in this race, right? We are a technology platform truly built to kind of connect the macro dots. Um, and, you know, the, the, the concept, the solution was born from a very simple ask, but from a very powerful woman, uh, Amina Mohammed, who is dear friends with uh, our founder uh, and CEO, Jacqueline Corbelli, who's also on. Um, and the ask from Amina, the, the woman who architected right, the SDGs, the, the global goals, was simply to uh, unify right, and accelerate the efforts in the decade of action. So truly, that is our mission. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and quickly demo and hopefully just make this you know, really tangible for all. Um, I will say we'll be in the expo booth. Please reach out to me personally. I'm head of product. So anything I can do, answer questions, make it easier for you guys to join initiatives and so forth, I am happy to do. So what you're seeing here is the primary landing screen of Sustain Chain. And so you'll know you're in the right portal if you see integrate up here in the top right. And so this is your sort of curated landing screen, right, or dashboard for this integrate community. And so what we've done is we've designed this in a way where on this screen you are matched with uh, peers, right, that you can collaborate with. So this is kind of the, 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 the screen where we're making suggestions and recommendations for you, right, peers that you can collaborate with. You have been matched with these folks based on the fact that you are tackling similar challenges in achieving greater sustainability within your organization and similar goals. You're also then you know, matched with potential solutions, innovators um, that are working on those specific, uh, addressing those specific challenges. And then you're also matched with these initiatives, what we're calling collective ventures. So these are sustainability initiatives that are being launched to this community so that members coalesce right around something and achieve together. And so there's, there's two primary views, right? One is on this dashboard where we're making suggestions for you. But then very importantly, if you look at the top here, you'll see a members tab and you'll see a collective ventures tab. If you click on collective ventures, you will see all of the brilliant collective ventures that Joy and Scott and team have uploaded, right, during and uh, throughout this conference. These are sustainability initiatives that are underway. And so you can click on each one. You can learn a little bit more about it. You can have a link out to more information. You can see what SDG and target it is mapped to and you can request to join. If I click request to join, Joy or whomever the owner, right, of this particular collective venture is, will receive a notification that, you know, member so-and-so is looking to join forces around this particular initiative. 
So collective ventures, this becomes sort of a library, right, of all of these initiatives underway. Very importantly, actually, I'll go to members and I'll come back to collective ventures. Similarly, with the member directory. So these are all of the, here's Patrick, who we just heard from, right? Uh, so after the conference, you know, I remembered I wanted to, you know, look into Metrio, for example, right? I can click, I can learn more about Patrick, and I can be taken to his site. I can also chat with him one-to-one. -one. Great presentation. Let's connect. Sorry, Patrick, you're going to be getting a message from me. <laughs> um, and so in the member directory, right, this is the full member. These are all the members that are within this sort of integrate community. Um, not only, uh, I, I can also filter. So I can look right alphabetically, or I can decide to find peers, right, that I can collaborate with based on specific goals. So maybe I actually want to search with folks uh, and meet with folks that are um, also working on SDG 17, right, and SDG 13. And maybe um, folks that are focused on consumer goods and food and beverage, those are my industries, right? If I hit apply, it will filter, and those are now the peers that are surfaced for me. I can also just do a very simple search, and I know that I want to look up Joy. I met her at the conference. I really enjoyed what she was talking about. I can reach out to Joy, and then I can chat with Joy one-to-one, -one, which we have been doing. Very importantly, you can also, for each member, you can get a quick snapshot of what SDGs do they focus on, and what are their particular challenge areas and solution areas of focus. So you can get a sense of sort of the, the, the relevance, right, in terms of what you can engage around. So messages one-to-one. -one. Let me come back to collective ventures because um, many of you have probably seen uh, both in the email, uh, you know, some of the emails as well as on the, on the primary sort of hop-in screen that there's been this sort of uh, invitation, right, a call to action for this community to really leverage Sustain Chain as a way to continue this incredible dialogue, right, um, and collaborate and join forces and so forth. Um, and so one way that you can do that is coming to this Collective Ventures page, exploring these CVs that exist, and either joining ones that are in progress, or we're also really encouraging folks to create their own, which means if you're working on an initiative within your own organization, and you've been thinking about finding, you know, collaborators, right? Or other brands working on this particular challenge, right? Perhaps we can, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, share lessons learned and so forth. This is a fantastic um, forum for doing that. So create a collective venture. Hopefully, let me just go back to make sure everyone saw that button right here. Create collective venture. Click on that. And then it's a very simple two-page form. We try to keep this tech really light and lean, right? Um, this is just meant to be kind of a dot connector, if you will. So I'm gonna put, put venture name. Um, let's, you know, uh, pilot, you know, new tech together. I'm making something up here, right? You'd add a brief description here. You can add a web link if there's a landing page or more information that you wanna surface for folks. You can either keep the collective venture open to all within your community, or you can start by keeping it private if you'd like. If perhaps as a team, right, or even as an individual, you want to first kind of create the collective venture before making it public, you can certainly do that. I'll keep it open for now. Of course, this is about, you know, open source technology, open sourcing initiatives and so forth, right, so that we can go further. But there is always sometimes that, that need to just kind of confirm things internally first. Then you answer a couple questions a couple key questions about your initiative, just to give folks that high level, right, view, right, or understanding. So is this ultimate change driver, is this about a new process or practice, or is this about a new product or vendor? Are we standardizing, right? Are we automating? What's that sort of high level sustainable pathway? And then what's the potential to scale? And then based on my onboarding, which I'll um, speak about in just a moment here, these are the solutions that I selected. It knows what's in, what industry I'm in. So I'm going to select a solution type for my initiative. So is my initiative about cloud networking solutions, right? Is it about carbon offsets? Is it about adapting new technologies? Depending on what your solution type is, the system does the work 
of mapping it to the SDG and SDG indicator. And between the mapping to the SDG and target and the mapping of solutions and challenges, this is how we keep all of these uh, initiatives and, and members, right, and the data, right, mapping in such a way that we can make intelligent recommendations um, for the broader ecosystem and how we can ultimately de-silo efforts, right? If there are many collective ventures, right, or initiatives all focused on a very specific solution type, the system will ultimately begin to recommend that those individuals and organizations and initiatives actually join forces. So I'm just going to continue this quickly just to give you a sense of sort of how easy it is. You enter a couple key dates, right? Uh, when the uh, vendor will be ident or process will be identified. When are you kicking off? When do you anticipate having demonstrable results? And then ultimately this new, this new initiative gets launched to this particular uh, community. So I'm going to pause on that, Joy, because these are, you know, between you and Scott, I wanted to make sure that you guys had an opportunity if you wanted to just touch on any of these uh, initiatives um, in particular. Um, not necessarily any particular initiatives. Joy, Joy and I seeded a little bit. In a great group. A couple more uh, that are more directed at what I'm involved with in, in other lives. Um, I set up one here on regenerative ag that I think Jeff Trotter's it, it joined in on because of what he's doing at, 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 uh, at um, Regenibus uh, and, and others. But, but what we also want to do is encourage all of you to actually get on this and put at least one of your own in and begin to see if we can really create a collaborative effort uh, uh, you know, going forward. So I'll just comment that I, I found the, the, the UX to be intuitive. Um, you know, just click clicking through a uh, couple of other points, uh, uh, Joe, because you, when yeah, <laughs> you and I were texting and emailing a lot when I was when I was onboarding, um, comment for a moment about the sharing function and comment for a moment about when you say SDG 12.1 or 12.5, what, 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 you know, that that might be a little bit more in here that the, the gang may want to hear about. Sure. Um, so I'll, I'll start with the sort of SDG, this, this, this piece right here, right? Um, so our mandate comes from Amina Mohammed, right? The uh, Deputy Secretary General of the UN. Um, we are looking to, uh, you know, achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, we also acknowledge that part of doing that is making the SDGs more are friendly, if you will, right? Um, and there are, you know, the SDGs, the 17, there are targets associated with each SDG, and then there are indicators associated with each. And so the system uh, essentially makes recommendations, not based on what SDG or what indicator are you, because that is, you know, can be quite uh, challenging, right, for, for folks in the private sector and, and, and even myself and many, um, but instead, you know, instead you can think about it, what, are, what are my challenges? What are my problems, right? Or, or what am I, uh, you know, as, a, as an innovator, right? Or a, a solution provider, right? Um, what is my solution focused on? And so we're focusing really on challenges and solutions and then the system maps to the appropriate target, right? And the appropriate SDG. And all of that is so that we can get to this point where we're leveraging the global sort of framework, right? And we have this holistic view, right, across the SDGs as to how many brands, how many innovators, how many investors, um, what, you know, uh, are targeting each SDG, right? And then each, uh, you know, uh, SDG, SDG target, right? And then we can really start breaking down the ecosystem in terms of, okay, by industry, what are the core challenges, right, that currently exist? And what are the primary solution pathways, right, that, that brands are leveraging for that particular challenge area and so forth? So this leaderboard um, is kind of that, you know, holistic view, right, of the uh, sustain chain community. 
And this is where, I mean, the majority of the work now is really going into sort of the intelligence of the system so that we can continue to make smarter and smarter recommendations. Um, Joe, I'm going to, I'm going to ask Jax here quickly to, to make a comment because there's a nice stream of conversation going on that, that I'm going to want her to comment on here in a bit. But when do you anticipate uh, you'll, you'll open up, let's say, the integrate kind of like subdomain into a, a more broader community? Where, where is that on the roadmap? Jax, you want to answer that? Oh, we can't, oh, we hear, can't you. hear you. You got to go off mute. Uh oh. Not hearing you. Hmm. Try again. Say hello. Uh oh. Shoot. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, our our integrate uh, organizer says maybe refresh your screen real quick and see if that goes. If if not, um, she'll 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 come back. Joe, maybe you maybe you can answer yeah. that and then. Um, and, yeah. And Scott, so the question was sort of about the adoption strategy. Yeah, please. Yeah. So. Um, it's exactly like this, right? So design the technology, um, both Jax and I come from a sort of tech background. Um, from day one, it was designed to be as flexible, right? And as extensible as possible, which means we designed the core engine and then we enabled it to be white labeled. So yep. for example, this community, right, is leveraging an integrate version, right? That's powered by sustain chain. We're also working with an incredible organization called Acre with over a hundred members, massive organizations, NASA, RAND, Right, they're a resiliency community, right? Focus on initiatives in that space around SDG 13 and uh, 15. We're also working with folks like Regeneration 2030 in Europe, right? And so a big piece of this adoption strategy is by enabling these communities of uh, like-minded leaders and warriors focused on sustainability initiatives, right? We're, if we're able to enable them to do, you know, to take action together, Right, sustain chain, the technology is ultimately connecting the dots across all of mm -hmm. those communities, mm -hmm. connecting mm -hmm. peers, opening up initiatives, right, de siloing. Um, and so that's a big piece of the adoption strategy. And frankly, there's so many that have recognized this, uh, this opportunity, right, which is wow, events really bring people together and we learn so much and we're so energized, right. But then, but then we go away and, you know, it used to be, maybe you have a coffee, but in the days of COVID, even that, right? Like, how do you network, yeah. how do you connect? How do you keep that momentum alive? Um, it's a real challenge. And so sustain chain is kind of bridging that gap, if you will. Right. And just supporting um, many of these communities. So we've got NGO partners, um, very many, like lots in fashion, right? Folks that weren't really collaborating before that are now collaborating, you know, via sustain chain. So, so let's say the integrate community has. Uh, um, well, I'll just I'll just pick on one person because I happen to know him quite well. I'm Jeff Trotter with Regenerus and Regenerative Agriculture. And so there's let's say there's a nested uh, group of you know ten or twelve of us in integrate interested in that. When might the integrate team be able to see uh, another community that's addressing that same exact initiative to collaborate cross community? Uh, very soon. It is in the roadmap for the next like six weeks, right? We're, we're within oh, wow. sprints of that. Cool. Yeah, we're within sprints nice. of that. And it really is going to be as simple as, you know, right now, and I was dealing with this with Jeff this, this morning, actually, right? Because he, oh, you know, cool. Jeff, we've been cool. talking with Jeff for some time. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the sustain chain bandwagon for a while. Um, <laughs> he was part of the original sustain chain community, right? And now he's also part of Integrate. And so what's going to happen? very simply is a drop down and you can select you know from various communities and then these collective ventures and the broader membership you can either decide all sustain chain members or just my community or okay. even toggle between communities okay cool uh uh jack i know how frustrating it would be that you so if you if you want to just keep um like uh, chatting over on the side we can bring your 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 commentary in here but uh we we talked about you know the the who's involved with this it's a series of 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 various people it's not any one persona it's people that are doing product development uh uh it's people that are that are practitioners it's solutions providers 
uh, it, it really doesn't have a single persona approach. That question was asked and Jack's answered it, but you'd have to scroll up on the, on the, on the chat thread. Joe, an interesting question. So that is fantastic that in six to eight weeks or so, you're going to open this up. It, 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 will it be relatively intuitive on a filtering level? Because I could imagine uh, if there's, let's say, let's say we bring to the table the first, uh, you know, in the integrate group, let's say 40 or 50 people that, that will be dedicated enough to do this. And that joins a more global community of, let's say, 500. Mm -hmm. I could imagine that seeing all these initiatives, it could be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. How have you thought about the cut, the, the user's experience like seeing all of that and like, oh my God, I don't even know where to go. <laughs> what, yes. Or does the system attempt to help you with uh, with that first instantiation? Like, okay, given who you are, yes. bang, here are 10 that we think might look relevant to you. I mean, what's yes. that look like for you guys? I love this question. And we didn't even plan ahead for this. But this is um, this exactly <laughs> yeah. well, this is clearly, uh, this is your this is your tech brain coming back in. So we're really, I mean, um, so absolutely right, and we're we're reaching that pivot point, right? Which is that this experience much more guided, right? And so even the current UI, the way you see it, right? We designed it to be sort of as intuitive as possible at each various stage, right? But with the way that we'll be evolving is you'll be sort of uh, joining Sustain Chain, right, logging in, and you're going to immediately be surfaced the most relevant initiatives underway that are seeking collaborators like you. So mm -hmm. imagine the experience is, hey, you know, these five ventures need you to join to help them scale, right? Mm -hmm. That becomes very compelling, right? And it's you know basically just their enhanced right you know logic and algorithms right really serving you absolutely what you need to know, and increasingly you know we don't need this to be the next Facebook right we don't expect people to live here everyone's got enough tools and tech and so forth that they're dealing with right it's going to be that when new collective ventures right um, are launched that are those that are really you know perfectly fit your sweet spot right that will be kind of one of those you know weekly you know email updates right or push notification that says hey. So and so just joined. You've been looking for a partner like that, right? Or this initiative just joined, right? This is exactly the you know solution area that you're. And so that that's where we go. And be the lean in. I want to browse, right? You know both collective ventures and um, and members. And for that, you know, we're just borrowing you know modern practices of UX, right? It's like Airbnb style filtering. You know, mm -hmm. this stuff is pretty intuitive these days and pretty easy to design, right? With modern tech tools, it's like, we have to start leveraging that, you know, the simplicity of user experience, right? For, for good. Totally. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, we've got about five more minutes. Um, uh, um, Jax makes a comment here. It's also a very protected community. The community builds uh, uh, the community itself and there's a, a, a vetting that occurs before members can, can join. I'll, I'll make a comment here putting my sustainable brands hat on one of the things that I notice a lot uh, in the, in the sustainable brands community is you're talking to a, a, a customer, maybe let, I'll just pick on a couple somebody at Unilever, let's say VV over at Unilever, who's the head of sustainability for North America. And we're talking and she'll say something and I'll say, well, wait a minute, Virginia, who's the head of sustainability over Procter and Gamble, who's also in our community is working on that very same thing. Now, even though Unilever and Procter and Gamble are competitors, they don't want to compete on you know single-use plastics, right? <laughs> so, yes. marrying those together cross competitively. So, I, I'm 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 hoping what is part of your vision and what will actually happen here is on those kinds of things where we're not competing for market share, but we're actually trying to move the needle forward in terms of ESG. That you'll see competitors collaborate collaborating on areas that they that they know that they jointly need to work on my biggest example of this is the alliance to end plastic waste i think the last number i heard gil you know uh, put in a, a little note here if i get this wrong but i thought it was 1.6 billion in capital that they have that are it's all industry funded to solve the plastic wastes problem because they all can't do it individually is that right. part of what you're hoping to see here yes 1000% and we're already seeing it, right? So there's a, 
you know, there's there's a reusables network, right? And there are uh, a, a lot of small organizations that have come together. They've created a network. They didn't have any enabling tech, right? But to say, listen, we compete on clients, right? But we're in different markets, and mm -hmm. ultimately we can, you know, collaborate on policy, right? And you know, marketing and awareness and education and uh, so many other areas. Um, so that that's exactly it, right? And so you know, we've been very thoughtful about the sort of classification system, if you will, so that folks can be connected based on similar challenges, right, and goals. But you mm -hmm. might, you know, want to collaborate with somebody, or you, to your point, you know, similar challenge, maybe we're competitive, but not on this particular, you know, topic. Yeah.